there is literally a stack of paper and all I wanna do is actually find the total amount of money there. So what's up everybody? A couple videos ago, I talked about selling my first property as an investor. And what I did promise is that I was gonna talk about exactly where I spent or where I plan on spending and putting the money that I earn from the investment. And that's exactly what we're talking about in this video. guys is break down the total two pieces that I've created buckets for essentially the the fun and personal maybe investment business side and of course pushing back towards the real estate which is the larger bucket and then kind of break down each piece and and share where all this money is actually going now before I get started this video is honestly here to be as transparent as possible about one real estate investing and what it can actually do for you and two the mindset around putting the money back into working for for you versus spending it all on toys. Yes, I do talk about that in this video and talk about how I have probably on 9.6, 10% worth of the income going towards some toys in this case. But even there, I have a focus on trying to build business and media around YouTube, TikTok, Instagram with things like the camera and the drone footage. As the thumbnail in this video shows, what I actually earned was $94,025.35. That's post the commission, which was just a little less than 6% for me. So after doing the numbers, I put just about 10%, 9.6% of that income, that $94,000 into my own personal stuff. So that is creating a new LLC for the media stuff, creating new media equipment, cameras, drones, and then also getting my seaplane rating. So I'll break down all of that. And then the other 91% went straight back into my investment account to purchase another property or get into to some kind of joint venture. I'll start on the fun stuff just so you guys know where exactly I spent it. The $1,600 seaplane rating, I'd have to go take a check ride for that and actually go and earn that seaplane rating. Put $3,500 into the checking account for the business account so I can start running my media equipment through that. And then all the equipment on improving YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, the social media stuff that I want to improve on. Basically got a year long subscription for Epidemic Sound, which is $180. Drone registration, which is about $5. The drone hard case by Go Professional Cases, which is $129. The Canon extra battery, which was $110. Two new GoPros at $325 a piece. So I got the Hero 7. The Canon M50 and Rode mic. The total package there was $725. The LLC filing, which was great. I already did that before for the real estate, but that was $125. Also got the Mavic 2 Pro, so $1499. And also got the Fly More Kit, which was $379 and then also the DJI refresh $139 so that's a lot of stuff my total in terms of media equipment and and fun stuff if you really want to call it that is $9,077.42 which leaves $84,947.93. Where that chunk of change is going is straight back into that high interest savings account so that I can make moves on another investment property. The big takeaway I want everybody to have really from this video is while it's really important to go enjoy yourself, spend a little money on an experience like the seaplane rating or a GoPro or equipment or toys that you wanna have, that's great. But the most important part is to be patient and actually invest in yourself and I mean that not only on the personal development side but also on your own portfolio my big thing is that I'm going to continue to invest in real estate I could go spend it and have instant gratification on a brand new car or something like that but I don't want to do that I can delay this because at one point in five years six years down the line I'll have a real estate portfolio that will be paying me and I technically wouldn't have to work I hope you guys really like the video if you have any kind of questions or want clarification on why I spent money on certain things and where I put some of the money in the bank account, or maybe you have different ideas on what you would spend it on, go ahead and leave a comment below. If you like the video, go ahead and smash a like button for me. And if you wanna come back for other content around real estate, travel, anything like that, go ahead and press subscribe and the notification bell next door. Hope you guys have a great weekend. See you later.